Hello ladies, welcome to day number 10 in Far Above Rubies. If no one has told you yet today, you are valuable, you are loved, you are a cherished daughter of the king. Your value is far above rubies. In light of recent events, it's hard to know what to say. What do we say to those who have suffered life-altering loss? Those who are broken and hurting those who are confused, those who are angry, those who are lost. As Christians, what do we say? We feel we must say something. But what if instead of making our response about what do we say, what if we made it about what do we do? Proverbs chapter 10 gives us many warnings that talk can often lead to more harm than it can good. In verse 14 it says, a fool's babbling invites disaster. In verse 19 it says, too much talk can lead to sin. And this is what it says, so be sensible and keep your mouth shut. We have so many hurting people in the world around us that we can talk about them and to them until we're blue in the face. But oftentimes we can push someone away more quickly than we can draw them to us when we go on and on and on, especially on social media. We have to be wise. Verse 12 tells us this incredibly amazing thing, though. It says, love covers all sin. Think about that again. Love covers all sin. How beautiful is that? For those of us that need reminding, love is a verb. It's not just something we say. Love is found in action. What if for every act of hate in the world around us, in the community around us, what if we as Christians flooded our community with acts of love? Love should flow out of us. It should be our default response. Remember Jesus saying, if you love only those who love you, what reward do you have? Because even sinners or those who don't know God do the same. We should be loving everyone. Our communities are filled with hurting and broken people and they need love. So what does love look like? When we put hands and feet on it, what does it look like? Um, I'm going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. And we need to look at our lives. We need to look at our hearts. We need to look at our actions, our thoughts, our words. And we need to filter them through this scripture. You're going to hear this scripture a lot from me because it's something I need to remind myself constantly of. So I'm going to read this to you like I would read it to myself as if I'm preaching it to myself. And I want you to do the same. Love is patient. Well, I usually fail on that one right there. I struggle with patience. God, help me to be patient. Love is kind. Some of us feel like we've got this one okay, but let's continue. Love is not jealous. Mm. Love is not proud. Love is not rude. Step on my toes. I know it does. Love does not demand its own way. Looking at you, looking at me. Love is not irritable. This is this is where I get in trouble. Love keeps no record of being wronged. Ladies, we all know we struggle with that one. Love keeps no record of being wronged. That's scripture. Love does not rejoice about injustice, but it rejoices when truth wins out. Love never gives up. It never gives up. It doesn't give up on your relationship with your husband. Love doesn't give up on your children who have walked away from God. Love doesn't give up on that person you've been trying to reach out to and minister to and they have pushed you away time and time and time again. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. 
Love is always hopeful. Always hopeful. We serve a great big God and we have reason to hope. Love endures through all things. All things. Your challenge today is to read Proverbs chapter 10 and share something below that stood out to you, that spoke to you. Your second challenge is to be intentional about loving the people around you, loving the community around you, loving your spouse, loving your children, loving your neighbors and your co-workers, loving your church family, loving the strangers around you. Love them like you're the only person who will love them that day. Love them enough to tell them that Jesus loves them. Love them enough to invite them to church. Love them enough to offer them a Bible study, offer them words of life that God died for them, he rose again, and his spirit is for us today. Love them enough to tell them. Love them enough. Love them like Jesus loves you. And to Jesus, your price is far above rubies. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining all of us. Be active. Don't be a bystander here. Let's set the tone for diving into the Word of God. Comment below. Tag friends. Uh, share this page with your friends. Talk to them. Invite them here. I love you all. Hope you have a beautiful Sunday. God bless.